Welcome to Coffee Talk. I'm Mark Tullis. This is my partner, Kirsten Coleman. Hello. And we are Coffee Cup Productions, and it's New Music Monday. <laughs> yeah, indeed. And today we have Kara Cavanaugh with us, and she's actually in studio. So that's really fun. Um, Kara's got some big news and some exciting news, so she's going to share that with us in this interview. We're going to talk about all kinds of great things, but first, a word from our sponsor. Bellaroo Catering is a full-service boutique company located in Highland Park. We cater to all types of events across the Chicagoland area. We specialize in combining multiple authentic or fusion ethnic cuisines to create a harmonious meal and handle all licensing needed for food, service, bar, linens, rental, and planning for your special event. Contact Maya at bellarucatering.com. That's B-E-L-L-A-R-U catering.com for more information and pricing. And we're back. Kara, welcome to the studio. Yay, thank Hi, you Kara. so much. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Absolutely. We're so glad you could come. Um, now, we met you through our good friend, Pammy, who met you through Terrapin Flyer. Just tell us a little bit about who you are, because I know this Kara Kavanaugh solo thing is a new adventure, new, right? right? Yeah. It is, yeah. yeah. Um, so I've been singing with Terrapin Flyer about five years, and I just decided to step down from the band and put more energy and, and time into my music and playing with different people and, and that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I toured with Terrapin around the country with Melvin Seals wow. and with Mark Karen and Tom Constanton, Bob Braylove. So it was an amazing experience and uh, I definitely wouldn't be where I'm at now if it weren't for the band and, and for Doug Hagman. That's great. That's cool. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. Very and awesome. I, I was I was combing through Facebook when uh, Pammy hit me to you and then I was like, wait, what is this picture with Phil Lesh? Are you are you Grateful Dead royalty? <laughs> oh, we're personal friends. <laughs> I'm cool. <just> kidding. <laughs> yeah, we actually met him. Um, we were going to Terrapin Crossroads just to get a bite to eat, and he rolled up in his car with his wife. So we uh, got our picture with him and talked oh. to him for a little while. I honestly didn't say much i was so starstruck <laughs> i'm not even sure if i got my name out i think i said kara singer but, <laughs> but i got the picture yeah. so <laughs> the picture's worth everything I'm yeah quite sure, definitely yeah. yeah yeah he was really sweet too and and took time to talk to us so it was nice. awesome but he didn't open up the shop and cook for you he didn't, unfortunately. <laughs> Next time. You no, know, right. I mean, you know, when you start hitting the charts and you start topping the charts with your solo career, he's going to come to you oh. and say, yeah, come over for dinner. That's how that's going to oh, go. Oh, that's a dream. That's a dream. <laughs> well, tell us about your solo material. You, it, you've written all the songs that are on the album. Yeah. Um, it was a really organic process, recording. I basically went to my producers, Packy Lundholm and Dan Mulder, with songs that I wrote on guitar and piano, and they turned into these elaborate, colorful, full band tunes, and um, definitely exceeded my expectations, and just, it was a really cool process. It took a couple of years, but I'm really happy with the final product. Nice. The, the recordings are, yeah, really brilliantly arranged. Now, how did you connect with Packy and Dan? I actually knew them from playing Grateful Dead music from Terrapin Flyer, and so we got hooked up from there. Packy has a studio in Fort Knox, which is where we recorded. Um, yeah, as well as Rax Tracks recording. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah. Wow. Nice. Great. Yeah. It's, it's very cool. And so... Um, what would you, you have a lot of, uh, different styles in this album. How, how do you explain to people what your music's about? 
That's a good question. Mm -hmm. um, it definitely is all over the place. Like there's one R&B track, another folk, another pop, you could say. Um, so, yeah, it was just a fusion of a bunch of a bunch of different styles, and um, just kind of wanted to market to different people, different genres, that sort of thing. So, when you write these songs in the different genres, do you do you write the music in your head first or the lyrics in your head first? I usually come up with the music and the chord progressions, and then when inspiration hits me, the, the melody and the lyrics will come out. And a few of my songs, um, Packy and Dan really help with the arrangements mm. and, yeah, change some of the chords and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, it sounds like uh, you really lucked out with these guys on, yeah. on this uh, maiden voyage of yours here. Absolutely. Uh, they both played on the record, so Packy played pretty much everything. He played uh, <laughs> drums, bass, guitar, pedal steel, um, a bunch of things, percussion. Kind of handy. Yeah, kind of handy. <laughs> nice to yeah. have. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was nice working just the three of us, so we could really hone in on it and mm. um, yeah, just all being the same team and not having to deal with other people's schedules worked mm -hmm. in our favor as well. Mm -hmm. And yeah, Dan Mulder played all the keyboards on it. So like the Whirly and B3, mm -hmm. all kinds of things. <laughs> nice. And um, the photography is great. I love the pictures. I think on your Facebook page, you shared like a lot of the shots from it or where did yeah. you see all that? It's um, Was it on your who music Who is the page, photographer or? for... It was Jack Perno. He's uh, based in Chicago. Website. Yeah, they are on my website. The website? Okay. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, yep. he did a fantastic job and is a friend of Mark Haig's from Mr. Blotto. Oh, yeah. So that's oh, how yeah. I got hooked okay. up with him. I went to college with Mark. No way. <laughs> yeah. Small Another world. small cool. world yeah. moment. Yeah. Wait, where is that, um, all the shots from this photo that... Um, is it in the EPK? I, there's some it's, place I saw, like... I think it's about. It's, it's an, about? In about? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's look at that. I hope. <laughs> I should know my website. I know, right? <laughs> I, I'm constantly noodling with ours, too, and yeah. I don't know where anything is anymore. That's kind yeah, of Actually, that it's, it is EPK. I it's take EPK. it back. Okay. Well, there's... That's a pretty that's good That's a great shot. photo that's from it, too. That's a great shot. Yeah. Hold on. I'll get there. Feels like so long ago, just because my hair is long. Yeah. <laughs> it was probably there about you. a year ago. Yeah. Cool. Very pretty. Thank you. Very, very pretty. Thank you. Awesome. All right. So we're now looking at pictures on the KaraKavanaughMusic.com website. Right. And here you can find... All of Kara's shows and, yep. music, and music, and it gets you to Spotify and well, her EPK. And then and this content. gets us to the exciting announcement, right? I mean, yes. we haven't talked about that yet. You've got a CD or an album release party coming up. I do. Yeah, yes. March cool. 29th. It's a Friday at mm -hmm. the Tonic Room. And I have a great band. I have Packy Lundholm who produced my record, and he's going to be playing bass and guitar. And then two of the guys from Terrapin Flyer, Josh Olkin, uh, the lead guitarist, he'll be there playing bass and guitar. And Michael Schroeder, known as Kid Mikey, he's <laughs> going to be the drummer. And then also my friend Paris Schutz, who's going to be playing keys. Wow. Oh. Awesome. Yeah. That sounds like a great show. Yeah, awesome, I also have awesome. a, a live painter. My friend Brina is going to be doing that while we play and uh, singing some backup vocals, too. Oh, she's wow. going to be busy. You put, you put <laughs> everybody to work singing. real hard yeah, awesome. this night. <laughs> that's great. Yes. <laughs> cool. And that's at 9 o'clock on March 29th um, at the Tonic Room. Yes. So definitely... Yep. You're just going to have to prepare Packy. I might be kind of fanboying on him uh, when I first meet him. So you know. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's easy to do that, for sure. <laughs> 
That's awesome. Now we are going to play um, two of your songs, two right? Two of your songs. Mr. Smooth Operator. Yes, and... that's my favorite. Okay. And why is it your favorite? I just love the groove and, uh, um, yeah, just everything about it. Uh, it was a really cool process from where the song started to where it ended up. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I love I love my vocals on it. It's my Did you favorite. start this one with a guitar chord progression? <laughs> um, it, Don't look over here. <laughs> <laughs> it, um, I originally had it in a different key, so it definitely got changed. changed. And uh, like I said, we found that that nice groove and the R and B style, which really fit the song. Yeah, I love the layering and the space. If you if you're in between speakers or headphones, I mean, it's really laid out yeah, nicely. Yeah, I mean, I'm hoping that everybody has their heads in between speakers or headphones when they're listening to these things. Yeah, don't just listen on your phone. Because the phone is not yeah. going to do it for you. Yeah. So get your head between some speakers because that's the only way to listen to this show. Yes, make sure you yeah, have it's like crazy. a podcast on your phone, in your Bluetooth, in your awesome car stereo. Right, with so all the car stereo. You have, yeah. And install extra car stereos. We're kind of old and crotchety <laughs> and we're kind of mad at the mobile device. We are mad at the device, mobile, so. Especially the speaker. I mean, you can't yeah. listen to these things on your cell phone you can't it's ridiculous it's a ridiculous waste of time yeah. so we did listen. figure out how to uh pair our phone with our bluetooth mobile portable speaker we so, did yes we're you know, very we're proud of ourselves. entering the you know the we're getting new... there <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we're getting there it's getting there it's slow but sure um and the other song we're talking about is uh ain't gonna run yeah, title that sounds, track. That sounds kind of like cathartic. What is that all about? Um, ain't gonna run. I wrote it about a couple different things a few years ago, but um, is it a secret? Can you not <laughs> it is. tell it's us the secret? It's hard to put it into words what it meant to me at the time and what it means. Um. I mean, the lyrics are, she ain't going to run from the river no more. The river's going to flow with her. So about um, just finding balance and, and... And strength and power and... Exactly. Yeah. Good. Yes. I yeah. like those kind of songs. Yes, we love girl power. <laughs> Very cool. We love girl power. And, you know, sometimes these kinds of things um, will, like, evolve over time. Like, it will mean something different later on and you'll be singing it with a new purpose and it'll grow mm. with you. You'll be like, wow, I was deep at a young age. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. Like I was trying to even think back to exactly what I wrote it about. Um, cause it's been a few years. So yeah, it has definitely changed meanings for me mm -hmm. now when I sing it. Well, congratulations. We are so excited. Um, Thank you. this is, um, this is, quite a work for a first solo recording mm -hmm. and um it's very special it's definitely the, want you. to listen to it cd very, very release special. at the tonic room march 29th mm -hmm. and it is uh cara cavanaugh music.com and then on facebook also cara cavanaugh cavanaugh, cavanaugh with a c by the way yep cavanaugh with a cara c with a k. cara with a k that's mm -hmm. for um for our our non-video podcast, podcast partic people. participants. Yeah. Yes, we mm -hmm. should spell these things. Um, <laughs> yeah. And and find her everywhere and follow her everywhere. And make sure you guys jump online and get some tickets to the album release party. That will be cool. Thank you so yes. much for coming, Kara. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for having me. And now we're going to listen to two of your wonderful songs on the new CD. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. You been standing there up against the chair, watching me twirl my hair. How many, how many, how many hearts do you fool in just one night? Not this one, not this girl, not tonight, nah, oh, oh. Don't make me put up a fight, hey.
you ain't none of the above. I know your game. Yeah. And your name. Let me take a lucky guess. Mr. Smooth Love, I believe what you do when you I've been watching you smile for a while. I've been watching you stare all around. Always so certain, tall in the play. 